whatever the show, no matter if is it five people, five hundred, five thousand, fifteen thousand people, it's it's not going to change our show. If it's only five people, those five people bought the tickets to our show, so they they deserve it. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. Oli, when we're talking, we're about two weeks away of the release of the Lifestyles album. Now you've been on a roller coaster for well over a year, um, and I'm sure that every day has been a crazy exciting day, but this is still something special to look forward to? Oh yeah, totally. Like, like we've been waiting for this release for so long, and finally we got this album out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, feels yeah, yeah. good. It feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, obviously, a couple of things that um, we want to talk about. We want to talk about breakthrough, everything that happened long before that breakthrough. But let's focus on the new music first. Um, you know, you guys um, bring a let's call it a colorful, modern mix of uh, a lot. There's some new metal in there, there's some pop in there, uh, but a lot of influences from the late 90s and the early 2000s rock music. Um, what draws you specifically to that sound? Is it pure nostalgia from when you were a kid? Yeah, I, I guess like, like we grew up with uh, rock music, with new metal and all those early 2000s music scenes and like yeah I, I guess it's that but we love the rock attitude you know we love pop music we listen a lot of pop music and rap music but the attitude and the like the energy it's uh -huh. different in rock music you know now that energy that you talk about in in this music and also in your music, specifically when I think about songs like um, Alive or Only Burning, um, is actually that bass guitar and is that is that rhythm section. Is that something that you've always, is that something you always gravitated towards when you were you know, discovering music as a kid? Did you want to be part of that rhythm section or how did, that, how did you end up with the bass guitar? Oh, I ended up... Uh... I don't know. I don't remember how old I was, but I we had this school concert, yeah. and there was uh, this guy playing the bass, and the whole room was like brumming, you know, and like everybody's like, I can feel it in my chest and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So I was like, I want to do that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's so much like power and like physical movement in the yeah, yeah, yeah. bass guitar. Put your middle fingers out, take a shot, join up, but don't stop. A lot of people got to know you through the Eurovision Song Contest. There's, there's no way around that. Um, the band has been, you know, it's not one of those bands that was created for that festival. Uh, festival, far from it. You guys have been working on this for for a longer time. Um, but nevertheless, you know, it seems that the mainstream is open again to big, colorful rock. Uh, we see that with you guys. We see that with. In Germany, Kiss and Dynamite. In the States, with Tempt. You know, there, there's more and more of this going on. Um, that also is a double-edged sword, uh, and I think you guys sing about that in, you know, "Thank You for the Pain." Um, you know, the closing song, I think, of the album. Um, yeah. Is it? Yeah. How tough is that as a guy that's been working his ass off for many, many years? That. People kind of look at you and go like, oh, yeah, okay, Eurovision Song Festival was a hit. And all of a sudden, these guys are popular. Um, is that tough to deal with this early in your in your career still? No, I don't think so. Like, uh, like those comments doesn't get under our skin, you know. Mm -hmm. like, it's been eight years of hard working, so our skin is yeah. pretty thick. Of course, it's understandable. Like that's the first time that they heard of us, and now suddenly, like we're everywhere. So yeah, totally. It's yeah, it's understandable. But, but like, no, I don't. I don't get offended. Just 
you are becoming quite a household name in Finland. But as you're now trying to get that momentum across Europe, across the world, um, it making that reset. Yeah, you said before, you know, we've got pretty thick skin, so we don't worry too much about people calling us an overnight sensation or what have you. But you're gonna have to start that journey, not necessarily from all the biggest stages in the world. Um, is making that shift, that 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 reset where you say like, you know, keep our feet on the ground. We're gonna now play some smaller venues when we go to North America, to South America. Is that, it, it, is that a conversation you guys having proactively in the band? Like, hey, let's let's be ready for that. Yeah, like when we, when we got the confirmation that we're going to the U.S., we knew that it's going to be kind of like back to the roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like being the underdogs again, and yeah, but like. We've always had this, like, thought that whatever the show, no matter if is it five people, five hundred, five thousand, fifteen thousand people, it's it's not going to change our show, you know. Yeah, yeah. we always wanna want to push the hundred and ten percent for the show because even it's if it's only five people, those five people bought the tickets to our show so they they deserve it cannot play this game with you i wish i could but i'm running i think it was a smart move also has been that uh you know you've got this sudden breakthrough or eight year breakthrough um and then you you were now working with century media which um is you know it's a label that is still you know Okay, it's a bigger label in the world of hard rock and metal, but you know, globally speaking, it's a little bit more of an underground label compared to like Warner Brothers or Universal. Um, that's probably a very smart move because we've seen over the years, you know, some a, a, a hard rock or a metal band all of a sudden becoming very popular, signing with a major label, and then there are certain expectations or pressures that you may not get from a century media are are you feeling that they're also providing you that support of like hey this is how we're gonna plan it this is a journey are they really working with you on that oh yeah totally like our main like like most important thing for us with our uh like people working with us is that we can see their like hunger for it yeah for the job for the for this whole thing like they have to have the same hunger that we do yeah and i think central media is like really good label for us because yeah, of yeah, that yeah. they have the hunger they have the passion for it hey you mentioned already um we're gonna play more stuff. It doesn't really matter if it's gonna be five people or five thousand people. Um, and you're also talking about, you know, you kind of love that late '90s, early 2000s rock music that you grew up with. So put those two things come together, and you get to play Knot Fest with Slipknot. Is that just like a, you know, your kid's dream coming through? Then I it kind of is, I guess. Like very many of us. Have like sleep not is the stand of all times for us like yeah it, it feels good it's it's nice yeah 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 and are you i know that you said like okay yeah every show is the same thing but uh for that show in particular um that's coming up um planning anything special for the for the home crowd yeah like it's going to be our festival production it's going to be we have a pretty good summer going on a lot of festivals, like big festivals, and not fest is one of them. We have one weekend this summer that we are playing. Uh, there's a like metal festival called Tuska mm -hmm. in Helsinki, and there's a festival called Weekend Festival, and okay. that's. Tuska is metal festival and the weekend is like more like electronic music like mm -hmm. and a lot of rap music there we fit well in both like audiences yeah, yeah would you 
slightly because you've got harder songs, you've got a little bit more like electronic songs. Would you change your set list at all for those two festivals? It's like no, this is this is the real us, and uh, you get it regardless if you wear uh, a colorful T-shirt or a battle vest with metal patches on it. No, it's going to be a blind channel show. Of course, like we we've done this like. Uh... We played in weekend before weekend festival, and we did the Alexi did some remixes on our yeah, song, yeah, yeah, yeah. electronic EDM remixes of, of our song. So we kind of uh, change our like arrangements yeah, for yeah, the festivals yeah. if we want. Like that's just for like for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to be a full blind channel show for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Ollie, you come across as somebody that is extremely grounded and pragmatic and um so i wanted to ask you i think if i remember correctly you've got a tattoo of a sextant on your arm right? oh yeah, yeah yeah i do is that like for you like the always a reminder of no, no matter how crazy the situation is to always kind of keep your bearings and look straight ahead yeah yeah like know where you are and where where are you headed like Check the stars, you know. Ollie, we will continue to check the stars to see where you guys are heading. Um, and uh, I think a lot of people, obviously a lot of people heard a lot of singles already and they've been doing extremely well. Uh, I've had a chance to listen to the full album and I think some of the songs that haven't been released might be my favorite songs on the album. So I'm very Ooh, curious nice. to see uh, what the reaction of uh, all the fans is going to be. But uh, Ollie, I wish you all the best with the release of this album and uh, a fantastic show on Wacken. And then when you guys come to North America, um, I can't wait to check you guys out. So thank you awesome. so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And a uh, fantastic release in, uh, uh, in two weeks from now. Thank you very much. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.